Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss one of the films called Childhood's End, and never forget that I always pray for you and your family to be happy and healthy always. How should we react if one day an alien civilization visits Earth? Should we be afraid or rather feel happy? Some time ago, all the aircraft flying suddenly lost their power in an instant, but instead of crashing at high speed, these aircraft descended slowly at the same time as all communication signals in the world disappeared. Shortly after this strange event, a number of giant foreign aircraft suddenly appeared in the sky of major cities worldwide, and everyone who witnessed this phenomenon immediately realized that humanity is not alone in this vast universe. While the whole world was in panic over this event, another strange thing happened. All the people who had previously died suddenly disappeared from their framed photos and surprisingly reappeared in front of their respective families. Simultaneously, the deceased individuals claimed that they were Karelan, who came to Earth not to attack, but to help humanity towards a golden age, where war, hunger, and all kinds of inequality will be eradicated from the face of the Earth, and this represents the highest point of peace that has never before occurred to human civilization. However, certainly the American government sees the aliens' purpose as a new crisis, because if the world stops fighting, humans will begin to lose their fighting spirit, which would undoubtedly render humanity powerless if aliens were to suddenly start a war. On the other hand, there are groups of people with different views from the American government. One of them is Ricky, who realizes that the alien civilization is hundreds of years more advanced than humanity, so it would be better if they let everything continue as usual, rather than worry about the aliens' intentions. That night, when Ricky was at home with his girlfriend named Ellie, suddenly all the electrical equipment turned on by itself, followed by a strong vibration shaking the entire house, prompting Ricky, Ellie and their dog to rush into the basement to hide. But shortly after, a bright light appeared in front of the house, slowly separating Ricky's house into pieces. With no other choice, Ricky was forced to leave the house, where he found a round module that instantly opened its door. Realizing this, Ricky agreed to enter the module on the condition that it first returned his house. Surprisingly, when Ricky entered the module, the interior suddenly changed into a hotel room where Ricky had honeymooned with his late ex-wife. There, Corellan communicated with Ricky without showing his presence, considering that humans were not ready to see his form. The alien also expressed admiration for Ricky's thoughts about his existence, so he decided to make Ricky the messenger to connect Corellan with humans. However, since Ricky did not directly express his consent at that time, Corellan gave Ricky a device, which was a gift that would officially make Ricky the messenger if he later activated the device. After the conversation, Ricky was returned to his home, but at that time, the area around was bustling because news of Ricky being abducted by aliens had spread to various media outlets, and even some FBI agents arrived to force Ricky to surrender the device given by the alien. However, Ricky refused their request and instead activated the device, which instantly healed all cancer patients on Earth. This surprising event undoubtedly made humans believe even more in the existence of the alien, and even Ricky, who now officially became the messenger, began to cooperate with the FBI agents to speak in front of the public. And several months later, there was a significant improvement in political, environmental and livelihood issues worldwide. Arab countries were asked to shut down oil mines and replace their pipelines with clean water pipelines distributed throughout Africa. All Navy ships and fighter jets no longer carried weapons, but were filled with food supplies sent to various countries. All of this was Corellan's plan conveyed through Ricky, so gradually the world began to approach its peak of peace. On the other hand, there was a disabled child named Milo who lived with his mother, who worked as an entertainer. One day his mother was kidnapped by a group of thugs, so Milo tried to save her, but unfortunately his efforts resulted in Milo being shot and killed. However, at that moment, a sudden light appeared from the sky, instantly killing the thugs. Surprisingly, Milo also came back to life and could walk on both of his legs. This event made humans believe even more in and worship the alien. However, there were some reactionary groups who decided to organize a liberation movement to secretly resist Corellan, and this group became known as the Freedom League. One day, this group decided to carry out an extreme plan 
by sending some people to kidnap Ricky, and they tried to persuade Ricky to join the group and betray Karelin, who had created world peace. It was certain that Ricky flatly rejected the request, so the Liberation Group had no choice but to prepare to kill him. But at this crucial moment, time suddenly slowed down, and the alien quickly helped Ricky to escape from captivity by resurrecting Ricky's deceased ex-wife. Ultimately, this exposed the actions of the Freedom League to the wider society, and within a few months, the existence of the Liberation Group collapsed due to public opinion pressure. In short, 15 years passed peacefully on Earth, where all forms of hunger, disease, disasters and wars were now just stories of the past that made humans live happily. Karelin, feeling that this was the right time to reveal himself, finally decided to meet with humans. This was also the most eagerly awaited moment by everyone, so they enthusiastically attended the meeting stage or watched the event live. However, the sight of Karelin's true form, which had long been imagined by humans, instantly disappointed everyone, because Karelin, the alien who had brought peace to Earth, turned out to have a form that humans had described as that of a demon. Although the appearance of the alien was very grotesque with horns and red skin, he had succeeded in transforming Earth into a utopian world full of peace. There were no more mortgage installment methods, no more wars, and diseases because humans could now enjoy all material possessions quite easily, and Karelin even built a new city called New Athena. Although everyone seemed very happy, what they didn't know was that what Karelin had given them was actually just another plan designed by the alien, as the saying goes, we are born in fear and die in peace. One night, an alien module suddenly arrived at a house belonging to a family inhabited by Jake, Bella, and their son named Tommy. The module briefly illuminated Bella's sleeping body before disappearing without explanation. However, shortly thereafter, their son Tommy suddenly went berserk and mysteriously exhibited strange abilities. The next day the family called a psychiatrist to discuss their son's strange behaviour, but in the middle of the conversation, Tommy suddenly heard the crying of a baby, causing him to scream hysterically, and when Tommy regained his composure, he then touched his mother's belly while saying that her baby would be okay. This expression certainly shocked Bella, because as far as she knew, she was not pregnant at all. However, to make sure of everything, she decided to have herself checked at the hospital, where it was eventually discovered that Bella was indeed pregnant. She then named the unborn baby Jennifer. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Ricky suddenly felt pain throughout his body before falling to the ground with swollen blood vessels. Doctors found that Ricky's white blood cells were metabolizing too quickly, which was also the reason why Ricky and Ellie had not yet had children. Realizing that Ricky was in danger, Ellie then tried to contact Corellan to inquire about why the world still had diseases like this, but unfortunately, she never got an answer. In the following days, Corellan invited some segments of society to a meeting event, and among the guests was Milo, who had now grown up and become an astrophysics expert. During the meeting, Carolyn claimed to have solved all the scientific problems faced by humanity, so Carolyn felt that humans no longer needed to develop technology. This statement immediately met opposition from Milo, who accused Carolyn of imprisoning them with lies. However, Carolyn disregarded Milo's words and instead took Bella, who was pregnant, to a special room. There, Carolyn asked Bella to place her hand on a disc, and the next moment, Carolyn recited a mantra and a bright light shot up into the sky. Meanwhile, in another part of the room, Tommy's behavior became strange again as he ignored Jake's words and rushed towards the light. He continued to ascend to higher floors before suddenly dropping himself downward, but surprisingly, Tommy's body floated above the ground while uttering sentences about Jennifer being too strong. Feeling frightened, the family quickly left the meeting area. Meanwhile, this incident led Milo to finally discover something that had never been considered before. He then spent the night investigating with his girlfriend about the strange symbols brought by Corellan, which seemed to point to a constellation's existence. The next day, Milo finally realized that the symbols indicated the existence of a planet where Corellan actually originated. On the other hand, Ricky and Ellie were visited by Corellan, who gave them a device claimed to help Ricky alleviate his condition. However, at that moment, Peretta, the psychiatrist who had previously treated Tommy, suddenly entered the room, 
revealing that what Carolyn had provided was a lie, and what they had been doing for humanity all this time was merely a trap. This immediately prompted Ricky and Ellie to press Carolyn to reveal everything. Here, Carolyn finally confessed that he didn't want to make human life easier, but intended to enslave humanity because there was another civilization far superior that ordered Carolyn to take all the children on Earth when the time came. At this point, Peretta could no longer restrain herself and proceeded to shoot Carolyn with a nearby rifle. However, Ricky used the device given by Carolyn to heal Peretta's gunshot wound, which of course enabled Carolyn to come back to life, revealing that true death had just begun because the children born in the world today were not ordinary children. In the following years, humanity lived their lives without any burden because the next generation of children became physically stronger with unique abilities. One of them was Jennifer, who had the strongest abilities among the other children. She could move objects and even communicate with Tommy telepathically. She also seemed to gradually raise her right hand, and children worldwide followed her movements while continuously shouting Jennifer's name. What's more frightening is that these children often gathered in front of Jennifer's house with blank stares. This naturally made Bella and Jake very worried, so they decided to move to New Athena. During their journey, they were intercepted by these children, but with a wave of Jennifer's hand, the children dispersed as if Jennifer was the one in control of them. Unfortunately, after a few days of living in New Athena, the strange occurrences only worsened. On the other hand, Milo, who continued to observe the strange behavior of these children, finally discovered a crazy conspiracy about a plan to destroy the Earth. His efforts to communicate with Jennifer made Milo more convinced that his suspicions were indeed true. Therefore, after realizing that some aliens would soon return to their home planet, Milo, along with his biologist girlfriend, made a new breakthrough to make Milo's body undetected as an animal. With this, he could sneak into the spacecraft that would take him to the alien's home planet, even though there was a risk that Milo could die on the journey. On the other hand, Ricky, unable to endure his worsening illness, finally breathed his last breath in the yard, accompanied by Ellie. At the same time, Karelin finally revealed the truth to all humanity. He declared that humanity had enjoyed peaceful life for decades, and now the time had come to give way to a higher civilization because humans were no more than small ants in this vast universe. And right after that statement, all the children, both those who had grown up and those still in the womb, slowly began to float into the sky. Therefore, after this, there would be no more children born on Earth, and adults would become the last humans. On the other hand, Jennifer was atop a high plateau to begin gathering Earth's energy. All the children who had previously floated now gathered around Jennifer to contribute even more energy to the universe. Meanwhile, the spacecraft sneaked into by Milo finally reached their home planet. Unfortunately, although Milo managed to escape safely, his presence was soon realized by Corellan. Fortunately, the alien was not angry with him and instead explained to Milo about their current existence. They were now 111 light years from Earth, and because the spacecraft had an FTL engine, the time that had passed on Earth was only 40 years. At that moment, Milo was very curious about what had happened on Earth, but Corellan said that the fate of humanity could not be changed because their destiny had been planned hundreds of thousands of years ago by the highest ruler. Corellan also revealed that he had traveled through the corners of the universe and had witnessed firsthand how countless civilizations one by one began to fade away. Upon hearing this, Milo then requested to meet with the highest ruler. Entering a flash of white light, Milo found himself in a bright empty space and met with something claiming to be the creator of the universe. The figure was just another form of a vast system representing the consciousness of the entire universe. And right after the meeting, Milo suddenly fainted. He then woke up when the alien spacecraft had returned to Earth's orbit and 80 years had passed. The aliens had asked Milo to stay with them on the spacecraft, but Milo refused the offer because he only wanted to return to Earth. Finding himself on a devastated and empty world, Milo asked the alien to provide something to remind him of his past life, or at least to prove that human civilization had once existed in the universe. Eventually, the alien gathered various pieces of music that Milo had listened to as a child. 
At the same time, Milo also realized that atop the high plateau, Jennifer was still merged with Earth's energy, and it was finally known that Jennifer was the last child tasked with destroying the Earth. It was then that Milo began to remember all the memories of human civilization just before the energy field disappeared and the Earth was reduced to cosmic dust. And the series ended with the aliens embarking on a journey to the next planet to continue their unfinished mission. And that's it for the story series of this film. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video. Goodbye.